go ahead and turn easy first. I'm going to redirect me. Alright, so I have to keep this video, I had to keep that part short because I didn't want to invade the goat them privacy. Enough goat out of road in Jamaica then, especially over Portmore area there. Holy pa goat. Hey, I was saying to this one person, I said, um, I think I'm going to start like a goat pen. And all I need is a hundred head of goats and drive around Jamaica and just pick up stray goat and deworm them, clean them up and then you have a goat farm. So I asked a man about the stray goats them. The man said, no man, the people them in the area will kill you. Because it's the people them goat. So we're leaving the house today. We're not in the house today. Today we're heading to country. We're going to Clarendon and go see my grandparents. So come along for the ride. Alright. And don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe and all them good things there. And stay tuned to the next video. And we're on the highway and we're off. All I'm pull up on a tune that I want is called Love and Hate. Here I come by Mr. Dennis Brown. Love and hate. You're listening to Classic, classic tune. So we're just riding up on the highway uh, and checking out the scenery. As you can see, Jamaica has some beautiful highways. These are the highways that were built by the Chinese people and Jamaica is going to owe them for a long, long time to come. A lot of us will be dead and gone and I think our children will come and live a full life and be dead and gone also before Jamaica is actually able to... No, a serious thing may I tell you before Jamaica is actually able to pay the Chinese back for this highway and I must tell you out here when you listen to me the toll is so high and, I'm, and the toll is about to be raised again beautiful view, beautiful scenery, yes and a lot of people are saying thank them for that but it's $460 I believe the pay at the toll one time and then uh, to go to another toll again and that other toll was I believe $260 Something like that. Quote me, 460 and then 260. So, in essence, then you have a $1,000 bill and you go one way on this toll from Portmore to Clarendon and you're blocked. $1,000 gone. Don't ask me why the toll is so high, but that is what the toll is. You hear me? Anyways, keep riding along some more. A country where I got today, you Clarendon was said today. Toll. Again. I'll pull up on the one day again. That one is called Mr. Glenn Washington, another classic. Baby, don't take my kindness. For weakness. Yeah man, go look it up, go look it up. Real tune. As we move down the road here into another tune, I hope you're enjoying the scenery because we're gonna go into the mountains soon. Alright? Alright, so out of the voice of the great Mr. Garnet Silk, Lord, watch over our shoulders. You know, so we have to keep that in everything, don't it? Hey, as you can see, that just said Mapen heading into Mandeville. Jamaica, full around about. Round and round about we go. So, this is how they drive here. Watch out. Cars coming. 
saw one man just overtake a police. Yes. Segment. So that you is know, crazy. You know anybody could do it here. They don't really care. Because if the police not enforcing it. So I'm part of a lot of that. I'm not going to Jamaica is beautiful though, man. Holy Park greenery. <coughs> Truck yard. Four parts Clarendon right now. Four parts. We're in the infamous Clarendon that y'all hear about. All the time. People get dash alike. Mm -hmm. I, I hope I hope we can I can hear them holding the zinc pass and I care them. And the yin yin. And then I drive on the two lane road like then the barrier truck. And then they get paid for drive so. So today we are gonna see. How are them thinking too? Yeah. I can treat them loaded. Prime Aki time anyway, so probably. Coconut, them loaded. Yeah, but bird fruit tree, and yeah, the coconut, they look overripe. Everybody have the liquor bar and the liquor clothing store, the liquor shop out the road. They try hustle. Yeah, and some people live upside, top side of their shop. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be two story and a shop downstairs. Uh -huh, and they live upstairs. Found the house there. It's funny as hell because I remember when that lady came on YouTube and talked about there's a pair shock. Yeah, a pair pair unfinished houses and shocks. That look like shacks. <clears throat> she see in Jamaica. There should say a whole lot of unfinished houses that look like shacks. Uh -huh. Like the people can't afford to finish them or like they're she don't know if, she said she didn't know if they were being built or if they were just all broken down. Mm -hmm. It's funny as hell because these people be jealous as hell because there's no house in the US that look like these. Okay? Yeah. I know some of them can't even pay off their mortgage to their liquor house or they have the facts. So, so the tradition here is people own their stuff, they own their land, and they own their house. Mm -hmm. See, I talk on these videos, man. I, I talk to people who are not Jamaican, because most Jamaican understand that already. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. So the houses you see here, if you ever come to Jamaica, look on that one, they build. Mm -hmm. most there for sure. Them the houses you see here, people pass their houses down from generation to generation. Your grandparents pass away. And they left it, and then mm -hmm. you took it over, and yeah. you just continue building on it and building on it. You know what I'm saying? And you own the land, and you own the house. So the house here. them just get bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So you will always see houses that are unfinished. Yeah. It's like no Jamaicans. It's a thing here to have a big a house. house. Yeah. So no Jamaican house will never stop built upon. So one so-called Mac Monday. And the thing is, you don't see homeless people here walking around, okay? Right. All the homeless people that you see here have them things. They're just mental. 
Yeah, they're mentally ill, so yeah. they go roam the place. Yeah, they have their houses and they have their lands and stuff. They're just mentally ill. Yeah. And people them that can't afford to build big houses, they can still afford to build still got houses. something that's their own. Yeah. But they have to pay a mortgage plan every day or every month. True, true. Especially in country. Yeah. Just don't know you have a whole heap of rent this and rent that. But especially in country like all of Clarendon, you know. Majority of these houses are owned. You look on yourself, blow up blue one, right? That's all. Ah, mama. Bar. Stay alive, don't drink and drive. Yeah. They look like my rabbit pen. I call them, they look like they're in the race over there, so. Yeah, my rabbit pen look like they're going to come on the bicycle. Anxiety is a thing out here. You know, when I'm anxious, suffer, but anxiety is definitely a thing out here. 
adrenaline rush driving crazy? I guess so. Because he just overtake you just to go in front of you behind one, so. behind one next truck. truck. That's craziness. Maybe because we visit and we like looking at the mountains and everything is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I get a bun tree, them fan, I see Sam Senior. Uh -huh, I can see it every day. Let's fly through it. Juicy meats. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at juicy party. See party there. Pull up. Pull up. Take off me. Turn off the camera, guys. Oi! 
Schande. Da. Mhm. 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 feel like we're underprivileged. Uh, I forgot to put the truck calling it. Call it anyway. The house is crazy. up in the hills of Clarendon, right? Some people are far and feel like, say, I remember this one female asking me about if we have, um, <laughs> if we have cars and stuff. So, on spite, I'm going to show you, and up here, there are many, many of these kinds of houses up here. People are going to say, so floor. You see me? So, I'm going to video the people them house just for sure. Enough. Take a quick look. And then we on our way. All right, nothing too spectacular. That's for sure. And then we on our way. All right. I see something there. Okay, well then, watch this. All right. So if you've come this far in watching the video, then you've watched a good portion of the video. We still are not. We still haven't gotten to our destination yet. Remember, this is the trip from Portmore to Clarendon, and I'm going to go see my grandparents today. I had to stop and take a picture, though, of this house and show you this house because I remember specifically I was in a class. I believe I was doing anatomy and physiology. So the individual that was asking me these questions about Jamaica or making fun of Jamaica, this, this was no dummy. This was someone that had served in the military for a few years, got out, and then decided to go to school and was at a university studying at a high level 
the person said, Jamaica? Do y'all even have cars and stuff down there? And I thought the person was joking, but the person was dead serious. The person really thought that we were from the bushes and we have huts and whatnot. It's funny because a lot of foreigners know that way better than that. Anyways, I thought this house was beautiful and I wanted to let y'all see that. We're going to spend a lot of time on the road today, but then stay tuned for the next video where you will get to meet my great, my grandparents, Kai meets his great grandparents, all them kind of thing, them one. Niceness. Like, comment, share, subscribe, leave your comment in the comment section below. Alright, and enjoy. See you on the next one.